Assalamu guys, Ifan back again with another video and in this video what we are going to be looking at is how can we get Excel uh, to help us in the planning process of buying a house. Um, mostly uh, what happens is you will have to go to a bank and uh, take out a mortgage. So what we will be looking at is how can we have Excel help us out uh, in figuring out what the mortgage is uh, terms are going to be, what the payments are going to be given the interest rate and the amount borrowed. So, or it could be any loan for that matter. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, what we are doing is we are going to be uh, calculating the monthly payments uh, that you'll be making every month. And out of those monthly payments, what uh, amount is going towards paying down your principal? and what amount is going towards interest towards the bank and every month once you make a payment what is the new uh, outstanding balance on your mortgage or it could be any loan okay so uh, this process uh or this table that we are be, we'll be building down here for every month this is also called the amortization table or amortization schedule okay so uh let's get started now uh, these uh four items up here uh, these are uh, certain uh, inputs that we would need to give to this excel sheet before we can start so that includes uh, things like the interest rate number of years uh, for the life of the mortgage uh, it could be 25 years it could be 30 years uh, payments per year how many payments you're making every year uh, for the sake of this video we are assuming you're making monthly payments okay and the second assumption that we are also making is that the interest rate is going to stay constant for the life of the mortgage. Uh, the monthly payments are going to be constant for the life of the mortgage. Okay. And the, the, the last uh, input that we need is the amount that you have borrowed. Okay. So uh, let's assume that the interest is 5%. Okay. Uh, this mortgage is going to be over 30 years. And it's like I said, we'll be making monthly payments. So there'll be 12 payments per year. All right. Uh, let's assume that the house that we're buying, the mortgage that we're getting is 240000 right. So uh, let's start. In month number one, the payment that's going to come in, we need to first figure out what, what the monthly payment is going to be. And uh, let me remind you, the pay for this uh, for the sake of this video these payments are going to be constant for, for the life of the mortgage or for the life of the loan okay so in order to calculate the monthly payments what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using a function in excel called pmt and this calculates the payment of a loan based on constant payments that means every payment that you make is the same as it does not change over the life of the loan and the interest rate is the same Okay, so the interest rate is going to be 5%. So first of all, what it wants is the rate. Now, uh, because we're making monthly payments, what we have to do is take the interest rate over every month. So what we'll do is we'll take the annual interest rate, divide that by number of payments, which in this case would be 12. So it would be, uh, the rate is going to be 5%. I'm just going to hit F4 to lock this cell. Otherwise, what's going to happen is when I, uh, we place the cell down the, the numbers are going to create so it's going to be c1 and c2 and c3 i don't want that i want it to stay at c1 divided by number of payments in the year is 12. there you go that is our rate okay the next thing it wants is the total number of payments to be made now if the loan is over 30 years and you're making 12 payments in a year because of monthly payments the total payments are going to be 30 multiplied by 12. So uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, put a link to these cells. So then later on, we can always change these values and have Excel uh, construct a new uh, amortization table for us. Okay. So it's going to be 30. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock that into 12 lock. Okay. And now the... Uh, the, the next uh, parameter is the loan amount. That is, the original loan amount is 240000 And I'm going to lock that also. 
So that's the, uh, the payment that we've got. Now it's negative because it is uh, going to be reducing the loan amount. Okay. And uh, reminder, part of that is going to go towards uh, paying on the principal that the amount that you borrowed, and part of it is going to go towards the interest that you that the bank is earning off you. Okay. Now we need to calculate out of this 1288.37, what is the portion of the principal payment? And what portion is the interest payment? Now, typically what happens is at the big, you know, in the beginning of the loan, most of the payments are gonna to go towards the interest and very little is going to go towards the principal. But as you go through the life of the mortgage, the situation is going to reverse. So uh, as you keep going forward in, in the mortgage, more and more, uh, portion of the monthly payment is going to go towards the principal and less and less towards the interest. Now, the logic behind that is uh, every time you make a payment, monthly payment, you know, a certain amount is going to go towards the principal. Now, when you uh, when that is going down towards the principal, what that means is the loan, um, the amount borrowed at that moment is going down. So every month you make a payment, the outstanding balance of the loan is going down. So when the outstanding balance is going down, uh, the interest being earned on a lesser amount is going to be less. But the monthly payment is still the same at 1288. Okay. So when now if you have if principal plus interest, if you add these two up together, you get the, the payment amount. As the interest goes down, the principal has to come up to keep the, the sum the constant. So that's the logic behind why in the beginning uh, very little is going towards principal and a lot is going towards the interest. But as you progress through the life of the mortgage, the situation is going to reverse. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out what the principal amount is out of this uh, 1288.37. For that, what we'll do is we'll use a function in Excel again. That's BPMT. And this returns the payment on the principal of a given investment based on periodic constant payments. What that means is this 1288% is going to stay constant for the life of the mortgage and a constant interest rate. So this 5% is going to stay constant. Okay. So the first thing is the rate. Okay. Now, just like we did over here, uh, because it's a monthly payment, uh, what we'll do is we'll take the interest rate. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock this. Divided by the payments per year, that's 12. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock the C3 also. So we've got the rate done. Now, the next point is uh, this is the first month. Okay, so we need to put it in the this is the the month parameter. The reason why the this parameter is going to change is because principal is as you go through the life of the mortgage, the principal is going to keep increasing and the interest is going to keep decreasing. So there needs to be a mechanism to do that. So we put it in the month number. Okay. And then uh, next parameter is the total payments to be made over the life of the mortgage. That would be uh, number of years multiplied by the payments per year. Okay, and uh, the amount that you borrowed is the two hundred forty thousand. Close bracket. Hit end. Okay, so now you can see out of the twelve eighty eight thirty seven, two eighty eight thirty seven are going towards the principal. So it's pretty easy to see that a thousand dollars in this case is going towards the interest. But let's have Excel do that math for us also. So we use the formula called IPMT that turns the interest rate payment based on periodic constant payments and constant interest rate. So the same assumption that we did for the principal. So let's go ahead and do that. Rate is going to be the 5% uh, and therefore to lock it divided by payment per year. I'm going to lock that. Okay, now <clears throat> this is the first month, 
So we pick the month number and the total uh, payments that you're going to be making is number of years multiplied multiply by the number of payments per year. So in this case is 30 multiplied by number of payments which is 12. And as you notice, I'm locking these cells so that I can copy paste them down and the, the numbers won't break. And uh, the loan amount is the 240,000. Hit enter. So you've got thousand dollars and we had uh, we were able to actually figure that also because if the monthly payment it was 12 88 uh, 37 and 288 37 is going towards the the principal then it's obvious a thousand dollars in this month is going towards the interest now because we have paid 288 37 towards the principal now the outstanding uh, loan amount is going to be reduced it's going to be reduced by 240 okay plus this amount here we, we are doing a plus because this is a negative and that uh, if i were to put a negative then negative negative would make it a double uh, make it positive and the loan amount will actually go up and i want it to go down and that's your new loan amount okay now, let's go to month number two <clears throat> excuse me I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and you see how the payments are constant. Now, the principal payment. Okay. Now, I can, what I'll do is, it's going to be PPMP. Okay. Rate, 5% uh, divided by 12. Okay. So it's a second payment and the total payments is 30 years multiplied by 12 payments in a year and 24,000 is the loan amount. That's your second, uh, the principal payment for the second year. Okay. Now, Interest uh, payment for the third uh, for the second month. Rate five percent divided by twelve. Second month, so we that's how we would pass the parameter for the month. Uh, total payments, the number of uh, years multiplied by the number of payments in a year and the loan amount. Okay. So uh, if you see how over here, the principal is slowly going up and the interest rate is slowly going down, right? Now, the new uh, principal is going to be this new amount plus this new principal amount that you paid. Okay. So now you can see at the end of the first month, that's what you have paid total, 1288.37, out of which 288.37 went towards paying down the loan. So the new loan amount became uh, 239.711 and 63 cents and a thousand dollars went to the interest. <clears throat> Second month, the monthly payment remained 1288. The principal amount went up a a bit because now the the interest rate is going down is it not the interest rate i'm sorry the interest paid is going down because there's less amount owed this the amount owed was initially was 240000 now it's 239711 says the the amount owed has gone down by 28837 so the interest that the bank is going to owe, earn over a smaller amount principal is going to be less obviously but the monthly payments are going to be constant. So if this interest is going to go down, the principal should go up to keep the, 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 the sum a constant. And that you can see it's happening here. Okay. So let's, uh, if you put, go into that, I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way to 360 because that's what uh, 
30 times uh, 12 is 30 years times 12 months, uh, 12 payments in the year, that's 360. So let's go to 360. Oops. Let's just do here 361. Okay. Now, if I were to just double click and send this formula down, as you can see, all the way down is, you know, the, the payments have not changed. Okay. Now, if I were to just send this down, you'll see how the in, the principal payment is slowly, slowly going up. I'll send this uh, interest rate down, and you can see how the interest rate is going down. Now, if you were to add at any point the principal payment and the interest payment, that should add up to the monthly payment. So let's see if in the fifth month, 293.21 is what the principal payment is, and 995.16 is what the interest payment is. If I were to add these two, I should get 1288.37. And if I do this, 1288.37 is what I, I'm getting. Okay. And let's send this down also. Now, if we go down to the, the 368th month, you can see. Um, end result is zero. So at the end of the, the 360th month, which is 30 years, uh, and 12 payments every year, the loan amount goes down to zero. So we have essentially paid off the loan in 360 months. So this is the amortization schedule or the amortization uh, table using the, the PMT function, the uh, PP uh, for, to calculate the monthly payments, uh, the PPMT function to calculate the principal payments, the IPMT uh, function to calculate the interest payments. Okay, now there's another way of doing this. Uh, and we'll, uh, what we'll do is we will go to another sheet. In this case, the monthly payments was not known, so we actually went and calculated the monthly payments also. All right, so in this case, where the monthly payments are known, what we're doing is, I'm just going to copy and paste this as value. One and two, and I'm going to take this down all the way to, uh, where did I end here? Uh, this was row number 367. So I must stop at 367 as well. Oops. Uh, 367 okay now <clears throat> the principal payments the interest payment and the new balance All right now the interest is being earned on what the amount that you have borrowed which in the first month is a full 240 okay and I'm going to go ahead and, and we multiply that by the interest rate the monthly interest rate because the monthly payment so we multiply that by 5% I'm going to lock this with, the, with, the, with F4 divided by 12 and the reason why we're doing divided by 12 is because the 5% is the annual we are seeing what the interest rate is going to be for, for each payment period. Okay. So the interest is a thousand. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put a negative sign here because this payment is actually going coming out of your account. And now the principal amount <clears throat> is going to be Let's calculate what the principal amount is. If 1288.37 is what the total payment is, and out of that $1,000 is the interest, then the difference of these two would give you uh, the, the principal payment. So principal payment is going to be 
the monthly payment minus the interest and that is 288.37 and that's exactly what we got through uh, the PMT form, PPMT formula okay and the interest was a thousand we used uh, IPMT to calculate and that's exactly what we're getting now the new principle is going to be uh, the amount that you usually borrowed uh, plus the 288. I'm doing a plus because this is already a negative. I can't put a negative because a negative negative would make a positive. So that's the new principle. Okay. Now if you see 239.7.11.63, that's exactly what we got here. Okay. Now in the second month, we know the payment is going to be the same. So we can uh, pretty much go to the end and just paste this amount because it's a, it's a fixed amount and the bank had told us that that's what they would be charging. Okay. Now, the interest rate uh, for the second, uh, the, the interest rate on, for the second uh, month, if you see uh, the amount borrowed, Well, the, is it, uh, just give me a minute here. Yes, sorry. Uh, is C1 divided by uh, C, uh, C3, which is the payments. Okay. And you multiply that by C4, which is the loan amount. So for, the, for this uh, second month, it's going to be, again, a negative. Okay. It's going to be the interest rate divided by the monthly payment amount okay and you will be multiplying this by the new balance and that gives you 998.80 which you've got here okay and now the the principal payment is going to be 289.57 which it was exactly what we got here and we will the so new balance the new balance is going to be the old balance plus the principal payment okay 239 42 422 and that's exactly what we've got okay now what we'll do is uh, i'll just uh, double click here send this down all the way down oops sorry yep okay and i need to set this down and i need to set this down now i'm just going to do a control z to go back just do an undo now you notice how when i first set this down that the monthly payments was all was being copied here okay that's because for now interest is zero okay so x is just thinking that everything is all the payments is going towards principal but when i send this interest rate down it it, it updates for for one month but then it comes down to zero that's because this hasn't been copied down posted down also so i'm just gonna send this all the way down and then it's gonna update and if you go down to the 360th payment, if you notice, it's paid off completely. And why did it get paid off in the 360th month? Because the life of the mortgage was 30 years and 12 payments in a year, which is 30 times 12 is 360. So we, we knew it is going to be paid off in 360 months. So this is what your, uh, you know, there's another way of, you know, you're getting the same values, but it's just a different way of uh, calculating the amortization schedule. Now, why would this be handy? Now, if you are looking to buy this house, okay, uh, I'm sure this house is, you know, is a lot more than 240,000, 
let's assume it is for the 240k the monthly payments that you need to come up with is 1288.37 okay so this is where you, you know because you had excel calculate this for you now you can see whether you can actually afford this house or not because you might have other commitments also that you know other you may have credit card loans uh, debt that you're paying off credit card payments you might have a car loan that you're paying off uh, so what, whatever your, your income is you need to account for your living expenses plus uh, if you're paying rent you need to uh, you know figure that in uh, your utilities your money for gas uh, groceries uh, plus other bills that you may have like uh, uh, your visa mastercard bill your car loan you know payments and um, on top of all those expenses if you are taking out a loan for 240,000 over 360 months you're paying off over uh, 360 months so 30 years and 12 months uh, the monthly payment that you have to make is 1288.37 so you need to add up all your your, your your monthly expenses and then you add add this 1288 and then you look at your income and then you can figure out whether you can afford this house or not so that's one way your know, way uh, this amortization schedule is going to come in handy uh, the other place where it's going to come in handy is <clears throat> if you see let me go all the way down now if you were looking to uh, see when this is going to be paid off just go you know, and see whether the balance outstanding balance is zero okay when the uh, when you have the outstanding balance as zero that's when it's paid the loan is paid off and that's the 360th month uh, okay so we knew that because 30 years and 12 months give you three so you already knew that it's going to be uh it's going to take you 360 months to pay that uh, mortgage off but you know now you uh, but this was the most important uh, thing that you know what your monthly payments are going to be and out of that you know you can figure out what your principal is and your interest rates and another place where this would come in handy say for example um, after say four years 48 months okay you want to sell this house okay uh, you want to move into a different property now or you want to pay you, you certainly had some you know some inheritance or some money you came into some money or you won the lottery and you want to pay off this mortgage you can see how much the amount owed is what that at the end of the 48th month at the end of the fourth year how much do you still owe on the mortgage so you started off with uh, 240,000 okay now you add uh, 12 uh, 240, uh, 224 712 so let's see 240 minus let's see how much you have paid off you have paid off 12, uh, 15,288. So if you want to pay off early, you can, you know, you can see, uh, uh, you know, what, what, what uh, amount you would save. Okay. Uh, if I were to go here, let me just show you the trick. If I were to increase the monthly payments by say a thousand, by a hundred. Okay. Oops, sorry. And I'm just going to send this down. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is, the in this case, the, the extra hundred that you're paying in the um, uh, in the pay monthly payments has over and above what you would normally have to pay, and that would go straight towards the principal. Okay. So that's what the new principle is going to be. And we'll copy this down. And the interest is going to be less by that amount. Oops, sorry. Yeah. And let's send this down. Now, if we go to the end, 
just by paying that extra hundred dollars uh, every month instead of having the, 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 the loan paid off in 360 uh, months if you look at the uh, the balance owing somewhere between 332 and 333 months is when you have got the uh, loan paid off so 360 minus uh, 332 so you paid the loan off 28 months sooner and that's the impact of making that extra payment because the extra payment goes straight to the principal all right so that's how you can use excel to uh, plan your you know uh, your mortgage when you if you're planning your home buying or if you're taking out a loan uh, that's how you would use your microsoft excel to help you in the planning process uh, that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you did please kindly give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any questions or any feedback, uh, go ahead and uh, put it in the comment section down below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.